Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jeremy here again. And today, I'm featuring actual gameplay footage from something that isn't a Game Boy. That's right, uh, as you probably just saw a second ago, we're gonna be doing the Sly Collection first. Uh, I was already planning on doing this, but I was just doing those other videos in the meantime while waiting for my capture device. But let's get right into this. Gotta wait for it to load. Wow, that's kind of blurry on my screen right now. Sony Computer Entertainment. I remember back when I was a kid when Crash Bandicoot came out on the PS1. It used to be the SCEA. I don't know if it still is, but it used to be the Sony Computer Entertainment America. Not just Sony Computer Entertainment. We're going to start out here with the first game. Hopefully this turns out as good as I want it to. I'm still trying to get everything figured out, what with my capture card and, you know, the the, s the sound settings and whatnot. Paris, France. Let's see, what year did this game? 2002? It came out something like that, but I remember I was only like maybe somewhere between like 5 and 7 when it came out. I played the crap out of this game when I was little. Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? You probably me? saw there, there's three save slots. How did. Very Me and my cousins Sorry, used to play this, and we would literally have all three saves completed to 100%, over, and while playing it again, so we'd actually delete I'm a thief one here. of our 100% saves, to that and file go back and play it to 100% again. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. We got their security Those system totally dimes. scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right. I'm going I, I tell you what, this first and game is more, you uh, got me at the wheel fly. more cartoony, All you gotta I guess you do say. is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. That was Murray pre-badassery, apparently. Oh, hello, frame rate. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform That's a basically super all this sneaky game master is thief move. Square X and hold circle. Down the circle button near blue because orbs. you want you use circle to get over obstacles. Square to fight enemies and X to jump through things. So, not very complicated. Sucker Punch Production. If this Let's Play turns out good, I might actually be doing, uh, I'm gonna be doing all three of the Sly games, but I might even do, uh, like, maybe one of the infamous games, because I, I love Sucker Be Punch. extra careful here, Sly. Break I've one of those laser beams companies. and you'll set off the... Since the PS2. Quick! Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. <laughs> the office of one Carmelita Montoya Fox. That door must be super reinforced, Sly. Huh. Maybe there's well, a way to get the, around uh, it. The oh, there we go. It's funny how they use that here, but they never use it ever again. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a star with the ears, but this is literally the only time they ever use that. At least I think it is. I don't believe they ever use it ever again. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector 
Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this false combo. Try dialing in 937. Nine? Oh, it was close. I had it backwards. I put it in 739. That's you something you're gonna see a lot of. If you come down through the safe. fire escape and head and through the parking lot, bottles. we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Maybe I shouldn't listen to music while I'm recording this. <laughs> I've got Eminem dubstep going in my headphones right now. Probably not the smartest thing to be doing while recording audio. Carmelita. They change her voice so ah, much between Carmelita. the Carmelita, I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its yeah, rightful owner. Uh -huh. And I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I, I just stopped by to pick up this file. To me, it looks like their enough. mouths are moving ridiculously. It's weird that, especially in the second game, the coins mean so much. Because the coins for everything. You have to buy power-ups. You know, the coins are literally required to play a game when you get coins to buy power ups for the rest. And in this game, ooh, did I really just get killed on the first level? <laughs> you see what happens when I talk. But, oh my god, are you kidding me? Anyway, in this first game, coins mean almost nothing. They give you, you know, addition hits, but other than that, you shouldn't get hit that much. Anyway, all the enemies on here die in one hit. You get hit horseshoes pretty often anyway. Quick slide! Smash the Oh thank god I've gotta listen to all this again. Really? I got caught in a window. Window pane. Oh good, I don't gotta open the safe either. Or listen to Carmelita. It's good that they have it labeled entirely as to where you should go to, to escape the police. Nobody thought of that while designing the building. Really? Really? I have never died there before, and I just died twice. That is lovely. I'm not cutting anything out either. If I fail, I fail. Dying twice on the first level of a kid's game. <laughs> Those are some big air vents. It's good that they had the forethought to go, somebody might come in through these abnormally large air vents. Maybe we should put a security system in, complete with infrared lasers and everything. But, you leave the vent huge? I should probably talk less, so that I can quit failing. Anybody who actually knows me, if they watch this, they're gonna be so ashamed. I should not be having this much difficulty. <laughs> and it's funny because at, when I first came back and tried to play the first game again after I played the other ones, you know, like two and three. The controls, you know, on two and three, you press the right, the right, uh, I want to say right button, really, the 360. The R1 button makes you scream on the other two. But on this one, it just brings up your knock account, so I'll be running along, you'll probably see me do a bunch of plays on this left play. But I'll be running along, and probably, I'll probably do it here soon, but I will hit the R1 button to try and run to help you bring up the Nazi com. You can't escape me, raccoon! They exit. Once
once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was well, surprised I to see how well she did. Well, I figured since I died a million times, I'll cut this part Finally, off right after this. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all the these scenes. years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. Monitor it all began what? when I that was just a kid, bouncing off. on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves Thebius who kept records. all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thebius Raccoon. Nice Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing Best from criminals. Ever by After all, job. there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Did he just have well, blue hair right there? Well, on the night I was to inherit the book, five visitors came and announced our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five no. overpowered and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corner of the world in a dastardly crime. Broken well, I suppose alone, they probably didn't. I was dumped at I mean, the town Raleigh was a there I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and panicking. trusted crew. Bentley, you know, he has techno genius and strategist to bring. His fireworks is and explosive, Murray, so. Part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the Fiend of Five, avenge my father, and steal back the Fiend of Raccoon. Steel, like I knew butter, I was so. about to face the toughest test of exactly my life. Improbable that they just cut I would either become a master it. thief <laughs> like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Okay, guys, this is where I'm going to cut it off. Uh, that was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see but me if you I want to check out any of your old two. movies. And I will I've got them all here on my play. computer. Now that I have a capture card. Use the left I'm analog the stick to move around the Game hideout and the X button to select emulator it. stuff. I've already plugged the loop to our first target. It's that guy, Jeremy.